video, and we have got a lot going on over here on JP Dokkan. There are going to be eight units in the data download tomorrow. The five Peppy Gal EZAs, Majin Vegeta's EZA, and then there is the two Tournament of Power girls that are going to be on the double rates Peppy Gal's banner. So there's a lot going on in JP, you know, prior to the Worldwide Download Celebration this year. Let's go ahead and dive right in the homie Goresh with the translations. All right, let's take a look here. All right, so this is Android 18. Uh, this Android 18, of course, is an extreme tech unit. Keep that in mind. This is a villain, and this is normal Android 18, even though this is future Android 18. This is from the fight where Gohan loses his arm, but they her, her name is just normal Android 18. So 18% attack and defense per Peppy Gal category ally on the team. Oh, and then 18% per key sphere obtained. So it's, and then it's, it becomes 20%. No, no, oh, it keeps going. Oh, wait, what? Okay. She is going to be doing a lot of damage and having a lot of defense. Because oh, what is it in total? So she's going to be at 25% attack and defense per key sphere obtained with this. With this end ceiling? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, on the Peppy Gals team, the Android 18 is going to be crazy. I I'm just... I'm I'm curious real fast. Uh, let me pull up... What are her stats going to be? Let me take a look here. So she's going to be at... Her stats are very low, easy aid. These are pretty low. Her attack is not the craziest. Her defense is not the craziest. She seems... Android 18 seems pretty interesting. I mean, the seal... Six turns for this. I mean... Ay, yeah, yeah, That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, next, we have AGL Mai. Um, keep in mind, by the way, that all of these girls are all, like, on, like, new category Super Battle Road stages and extreme Super Battle Road stages and all this shit. So, that's gonna be um, interesting to see. So, she's 100% attack and defense start a turn. All allies, three key. So that's automatically good. I like that. Um, and then AGL allies get 20% attack and defense. Pointless. Peppy Gal category allies get 30% attack and defense. And 15% chance to crit. Ah. And then the strongest effect in the game. The strongest ability in the game. The scouter effect. But she only gets it when HP is 50% or below. But that still can make her very good for like Super Battle Road runs and stuff like that. Greatly raises attack and defense one turn, supreme damage, and a great chance to stun. Actually, this Mai is going to be insane for, like, the future extreme category Super Battle Road stage. Um, if I had not already no item that this girl would be on my team ASAP, because giving all allies three key is still pretty damn good, even if she's not giving a buff to them all. Um, and then she's doing this, so her, st you know, her stats should be okay. Well, let me, let me see. What are what are her stats? I assume they're going to be low like Android 18s are. Yeah, that's that's pretty low. Her defense is solid, though. With the 50% raise, I think Mai could be pretty good. Again, 70% chance to stun three key. Mai seems solid. I think Android 18 is better, but Mai seems solid. All right, next we got the big daddy, LR Majin Vegeta, who has a novel pass. Well, let, let's just continue going through the girls. All right, well, let's do Pan next here. Let me, we're just going to skip to Pan. All right, so Pan, 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. Gain a 15% chance to evade enemy attacks at the start of every turn. So she's like Dispo, up to a max of 60%. Three key, an additional 120% defense for seven turns from first appearance. Raise attack and defense by 30% for six turns. What is Pan's defensive stat? Just a little bit under 10,000, huh? Um, I think, like, when you're in, like, turn two with Pan or turn three with Pan, she is going to be, like, 300k defense at least with the 40% five percent chance to dodge it's gonna be pretty crazy um the only thing is that i really wish that this last part it sucks that this is like for only for seven turns because it's like this pan will be really good like once this is able to build up a little bit you get a couple of turns of this and you're good to go um hmm. 
The extra key is always nice, but I believe Pan is full of key links, is she not? Saiyan Lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT, Shattering Limit. Yeah, she's got a lot of key links. Pan seems okay. Android 18 still the best so far, I think. Um, Who is next on here? We got Videl. All right, let's see what they did with Videl. 20% attack and defense per Peppy Gal category ally in the team. Defense plus 80% on super attack. Attacked enemies. Attack and defense minus 20% in two turns. Recover 20% of damage on his health. Stacks attack. Lowers attack. She's okay. I don't... Videl doesn't... Videl seems the worst of the batch to me, honestly. Which I guess doesn't matter because there's... It's an inconceivable that she's going to be better than the Dokkan Fest Videl. Yeah, I don't... This, this Fidel doesn't look too crazy to me. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they'll all be good, but she's not looking crazy. All right, Bulma. Okay, Bulma, this will be interesting because the LR Kid Goku and Bulma are, like, secretly, like, one of the best, like, you, honestly, you could say units in the game, but they have to be run on these really bad teams, and a Bulma is needed to make them look exceptional. So if this Bulma is super good, that'll be really good. Okay, so she gets four key at the start of turn. That's good. That's actually very good. 100% attack and defense as well. Another 50% attack and defense on super. Medium chance to evade enemy attacks. Okay. Gain additional 10% attack and defense for every attack evaded. Another 10% attack and defense for every attack received. 5% HP for each rainbow key sphere. And then 5% HP regen on super. Bulma is actually looking kind of very good. Because she's getting attack and defense right there. She gets attack and defense on super, so that's powerful that you got both of these. She's got a 30% chance to dodge. If this Bulma had a 50% chance to dodge, she would be busted. Dude, this Bulma's crazy. Her stats have got to be no literally nothing. Even as an EZA, they have to be so low. I mean, they are, but not too much lower than the other Peppy Gals. Dude, this Bulma looks really good. They've already got, got it filled out. This Bulma's interesting, right? Because, like, you look at a lot of these teams, like, she will go crazy, I think, on, like, the Earthling team. You know, Youth, Dragon Ball Saga, Dragon Ball Seekers. I'm liking Bulma right now. Bulma's looking pretty solid. Um, Okay, and then next we got... The big boy, Majin Vegeta. Oh, boy. All right, what do we got here? Majin Vegeta. All right, 150% defense start a turn. Beautiful. 180% on super. So, they did give him extra damage. He was at 150% before. Yeah. So, they did give him extra damage. Gain two key and 20% damage reduction... If there's a character on the team whose name includes Bulma. Bulma is not on any of his category teams. Wait, does it say... Whose name includes Bulma. So, is... This is it, right? You have to use this unit because there's no other Bulma on Vegeta family so I wonder if there's like a major Bulma card about to release because the the only Bulma I, I, I just off the top of my head on any of his teams yeah is that one that the the Vegeta and Bulma that's it because there's no Boo Saga Bulma. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but Bulma's not a pure Saiyan. Okay, it's odd. Because, like, the other thing, too, is remember Majin Vegeta's a villain? W why? Hmm. Uh, this is very... That's uh, weird. Let me keep going. Two key. Another 20% attack and defense for there's a character on the team whose name includes Kid Trunks. That's not really that bad, right? Another two key and chance promo crit by 20% if there's an enemy or character on the team whose name includes Goku. And then gain 12 key and guaranteed crit once only. 
HP is 30% or below. Raise attack for one turn, medium chance to stun. Attack for one turn, medium chance to stun. Well, kids, um, I've got some bad news and I've got some bad news. Uh, Majin Vegeta looks like he's improved, for sure. He's going to be a good unit on a lot of teams, but this is definitely... I don't know what they were thinking with Broly, but like this is this is an LR Int Gohan right here. Do they have his details on here already? Yeah, they do. Um, I mean, this is a lot, right? It's just all these like weird restrictions. I don't know... We have to be getting a new Bulma. We have to. Because literally the only way you could use this... Because this is crazy. This is interesting. Because I feel like his defense will be good. Because what is his... De yeah, he's got 15,000 defense with 150% defense at the start of turn. Reasonable you'd have a kid Trunks on the team. You get another little bit of attack and defense right there, right? Interesting. The uh, only thing too, right... Well, I mean, I don't know. If you guess if you're getting two key, two key, two key, that's only six key. So you're still going to be comfortably below the 18 key threshold. I don't know. If, I think Majin Vegeta for the next couple of months is going to perform at a very high level, but he could age rapidly if they continue the um, power creep. Because like we saw this with in LR Gohan, right? Where he is really good right now, but I feel like he's going to age very fast. Um, the difference between Vegeta and Gohan, though, is they did give Vegeta extra damage. He didn't raise attack on super attack either. No, he did not. So, I don't know. Between this and this, I don't know, man. I, I He's going to be shooting out like 6 million attack sets very easily. I think he's going to be pretty good, Majin Vegeta. It's just like you look at all this sort of like, there's just a lot of garbage in here. Like muddling it up, right? Um, it's going to be very easy to activate this. Giving him a little extra key and a 20% chance to crit. I do not know with this Majin Vegeta where he stands. I could see this guy end up, ended up being in like the top 10 units in the game though. I think it's conceivable. The other thing about Majin Vegeta you do have to point out is his presence on like so many teams. And like a lot of teams that really need help as well. Um... He's good. It's just I, I I really want this right there. And there's just not a lot of areas you could do this. Because it's like, are you going to run an, an all-types team? Probably not. Because remember, all the Bulmas are heroes, and this guy's a villain unit. So, interesting, interesting, interesting design right there. Uh, let me know what you guys think of all the EZAs. Very hard to gauge Majin Vegeta. I do think he's probably going to be better than LR Int Gohan. Probably easily, but I'd like to see him in game before I go too crazy. I mean, he does have better chances to stun, which is good for Super Battle Road, right? Got the AoE. I mean, again, getting a Goku on the team with him is so easy. And I, I wish this was maybe a 30% chance instead. I don't know. The Kid Trunks is probably not going to be that bad um, with some of the crazy buffs for the recent Kid Trunkses. Because remember, this is just Trunks on the team, Bulma on the team, Goku on the team. Those are the good... Like, they could either do it the bad way, which is where they want you to use them on rotation, or the good ways on team. So, it's interesting. It's, it's, a, it's a quirky little design here. Uh, I have got to imagine, dude, there's a new Bulma coming or something. There, has, there literally has to be. Like, I, I don't know. Because, like, you just don't have Vegeta and Bulma sharing any teams in the game whatsoever. Maybe they're going to drop a Majin Buu Saga Bulma? Perhaps. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think uh, of all the EZAs, and especially Majin Vegeta in particular. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.